Instead of a game update this week, Jagex was doing a little bit of maintenance on the servers, but after they finished, there was a lot of people still experiencing some troubles and DCing all over the place. Alfie DC'd four times in a row, and this was his reaction. Bro, listen, dude, whenever people in chat ask me why I'm not playing a hardcore, like three days pass before Jagex servers go down, and I'm just like, I don't want to play on a hardcore. I'm not interested. I don't, I don't. You know? A fair statement from the man, and I know there's a lot of hardcores out there waiting for the new hardcore update to come in where they'll automatically teleport out if they're inactive for a set amount of time or dicks. But while we're looking at hardcores, let's check out Forsaken, who we just saw receive his chaps to only have the staff remaining from TOA. And that was just a couple of days ago, but he is still sending the solo TOA runs, trying to get that staff even even while the servers were a little bit dodgy. Dying on my heart prime. Really, bro? Well, that's a uh, hard to go on, I guess. With over 2,000 total and a lot of boss KCs, he was quickly rising in the game to start to be one of our great hardcore Iron Man streamers. With some seriously impressive gear and items starting to stack up on the account, I think even if he had a friend in that raid, they wouldn't have been able to teleport him out because it was probably server lag for everyone on that world. It is so satisfying, but it does hurt to see a hardcore who was just getting so good about to finish off TOA leave the game but while we are at TOA let's switch over to Ryan QP who was doing a raid with a couple of his buddies easy staff escalators 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 And luckily for us, that was the Iron Man that received the staff. But if you have a look at his account, he's already received the staff. So I believe everyone got a little bit of a split on that one. A lot of people are downing Mammal once again for the Farmers V2. Personally, I hope the deaths are shared around a little bit and Mammal can redeem himself. But here's Foe's thoughts. Who do you think is going to die first in the group Iron Man besides Mammal? Denise. Now, some people may still be craving a little bit of stellar drama content, and some may be completely over it, but someone asked Oda this. Is there going to be a video on the Stella reply? Nobody gives a f what she has to say. I can't believe you even added me and said that. What an absolute brain dead question. Bro, there's literally evidence of her scamming. If you look out in your front lawn, you'll see evidence on the floor of her scamming. It's over for her. No matter how many times she tries to man manipulate the situation, or say this or say that or say she didn't scam or no that guy uh he called me a so i decided not to pay him back or whatever the f he decides to say either way there's 500 more evidence pieces of evidence everywhere that she scammed 500 and hundreds of individuals i think it is time we all move on but i am waiting to see how that investigation goes now we don't do too many screenshots over here but some things are just too rare to not share this one was a 1kc third age pick worth over max cash and i kind of like that he got it while unlocking the soundtrack land down under but if you want to see something better than that how about back to back bloodhound pets at just 12 and 13kc to make that one one of the most spoon things you'll ever see. And I also got this other back-to-back Tebos -back on an Iron Man. And I thought that was a nice back-to-back -to, -back to share after the Bloodhounds, even if the photo was taken on a calculator. And there has been a tiny bit of drama between Oda and Greek God. Greek basically went on to say he doesn't care if he's not part of Oda's team. Oda's been holding a grudge for a long time. And then he went on to say it doesn't matter because he has more money than Oda. And this was Oda's response. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I found that extremely cringe. I don't know about you guys. That was like, bro, I was watching it last night and I was like, what the f I'm gonna just go ahead and say this. First of all, nobody's flexing, right? Just me calling you out and letting you know that you're a fake mother I think everybody can realize that you're a leech, a fake guy, and nobody wants to be around you for a reason. Nobody ever mentioned money. Nobody gives a about your money, you loser, okay? But step up your game. You need help, seek help. Please. But something we must never forget to do is our dailies. And here's Bodie with the reminder. Remember, guys, do not let the fact that Coxie has 10 pets already on his speed run distract you from the fact that you've not reported him to me. Jesus Christ. I got it. Oh, it's my time, mate. I, 
I hate you so much. I hate you so much. It looks like the hunt continues. Unfortunately, Tommy's hardcore didn't go down in the recent world disconnects. Mole Goat was sending the very fast, the very impressive speed runs, trying to get a world record, but noticed something sounded a little bit off. Okay. Let's see what ZZB's fly. Did I just hear a... Wait. That carrier sounded different. Wait. <laughs> My guy. And I just love that the guy standing there looks so mismatched in the different armor to everyone else just saying FFS wrong Keras. I got a purple. Please God, please God, please God, please God, please God, please God. Please God. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw. I got another hill. That's okay. Kill. Okay. And if that wasn't enough for this group Iron Man team to receive, how about when they went and pulled the back-to-back -back purple? I got a purple! Oh my god! Oh, oh no. my god! Oh 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 my god! The back-to-back -to, -back to finish with the scythe is such an amazing feat for anyone, let alone a group Iron Man team. Like I'm remembering, because I played Overwatch. Pog! Separate the Overwatch uh, legends from the... Oh my god, I got it! I got it! I literally did! Oh my god, I literally did! I said it! I said it! I'm going to get knife range and then I'm going to get pet! I said it! I and if you listen very carefully, apparently she said it. Osku doing a bit of PKing and he wanted to finish this one off fast. Beautiful. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. An easy 68 mil. Next up, we have Lance also doing some PKing and he said he was fighting Osku in this clip. Lucky he wasn't drinking some tea. He would have spat that out all over his monitor. He said that was worth 118 mil, but he wasn't done there this time with a different PKer. Okay, so he has a Karasu. I think he has an Aegis Jamal. Well, it turns out Lance was completely right about this guy also having the AGS, which swiftly took him out the game. But then this happened. And speaking of spitting your tea all over your monitor, next up, Aussie Shifter. Rest in peace to her entire team. And while we're at the lovely T.O.B., let's switch over to none other than Hitman Frank and see what he received. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just want the dust. Get me out of here. 460kc starting to close in on a very deserved dust, but unfortunately a re-roll of the pet this time. Oh my god. Okay, one second, be right back. That's the eight mil one. Woo, I only need the 16 mil one now. El Denari was very happy with that. Starting to tick off more and more items on his collection log, just looking for the mace because he is an iron, but that wasn't the only thing he received on this task. I'm not expecting another drop this morning. I'm just going for some more alcables. Alcable. I'll probably do like another trip or two and then we'll go do our raid. Making me look bad. Oh my. Oh, f boy. And yes, he could have finished off all the items just there, but it's always nice to have a spare bow worth a whopping 23 mil. It's also so nice to have you guys support this channel and watch every single day. Thank you very much for the daily likes.